By the end of this video, you're going to have a boyfriend, Jenna. Wait, what? Yes, I got five guys that you're going to have to blind date based on. Where? Their, behind this curtain. You're going to have to blind date them based on their outfit and the questions you ask them. Oh. Jenna, we're finally able to get you a man. But how did you find these men and just pick them off the street? Basically, I think we should get started. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. All right, Jenna, are you ready to get started? Not gonna lie, this is terrifying. I feel All like right. I'm on a dating show right now. You basically you are. You are. Let's roll up the curtain. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, okay, so Jenna, what are your first impressions by the shoes? I see a lot of Nikes. Do you have any favorites? One's given all the color, which is which is fun. I, saw, I just saw someone dap each other up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give you your first question. Oh. Okay. All right, okay guys, what's your dream first date? Number one. Great question. I mean, start off, pick up some sushi at my favorite restaurant. Maybe hop in my car, play some SZA, and then drive down to the nearest beach side, enjoy the views. Okay, all right. Hi, Jenna. I would take you to the Van Gogh Museum. I've never been there. I feel like it would be a good first date. We could go out for some Indian food. I'm Indian. And it at the beach. I know this perfect spot where we could end our date. Uh, I say, you know, pick you up, you know, let's go get some food, probably somewhere like a little decent, something nice. You know, so like the first date, you know, nothing too crazy, nothing too crazy. And I say we go like, you know, probably up on like one of those sightseeing places, you know, probably go make some food at home and probably chill and watch a movie and relax. I'm not a complicated guy. You know, I think we should just get, go on a day hike, get to know each other, see some great views. Then we just hit lunch around uh, Santa Monica, get some nice seafood. I think that's really just the perfect day. Nothing too crazy, nothing too over the top. I heard a lot of beach, so I'll stay away from the beach so they can go on their date. But when we're on ours, I was thinking we could go to a park where there's a, a nice view of all of LA, and then maybe back to, to one of our places and just chill, watch a movie, and get to know each other some more. All right, Jenna, I'll give you a moment to ask any questions that you want to ask. Do you have any questions? No, I think I, I, think I know. Okay. I'm going to eliminate. Already? Oh, dang. Oh my god, okay, like you don't even want like a second to think? No, I, I am thinking, I've been thinking and processing this entire time. <laughs> my palms are literally sweating as I'm, <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm, I'm nervous for you. <laughs> Make the yeah. right choice. Make the right choice. Okay, so. Dang, what if I make the wrong choice? Okay. I really admire a confident guy who knows what he wants and what he wants to do. And I think I'm going to eliminate number three only because his answer didn't seem as confident as the rest of the group. Oh, oh bummer. No. Okay, well, can number three please make your way from behind the curtain? I feel so bad! So Wait, can I give you a hug? Oh my gosh. You guys can nice be friends. Nice to meet you. Okay. Oh, I feel such like a jerk! <laughs> and he has good style too! Anna, look what you did! I can't judge a person based off their shoes, Jensen! He's gonna be like... Is there, is there anyone that is, that's sticking out to you so far? Not by their pants, Jensen. <laughs> All right, you guys, my question for you is what gives you the ick? What gives me the ick is catching them in lies, whether it's a small lie or a big lie. I think I've been lied to quite a bit. I think I'm a pretty generous person, so I, I give people multiple chances. Honestly, I'm pretty direct, so suspense is my biggest ick. I like just if we can talk about it or have like, you know, just text me back. I actually have two. One's not having good style. Um, Ooh. Oh, and second, I'm a server. I don't like when people don't tip. That's my biggest thing. Yeah, I mean, I think probably one of my biggest icks is when someone doesn't treat other people with kindness or just like an, on that human level. I think everyone deserves to be treated with like the same level of love and kindness. All right, guys, I'm super nervous. I don't think style is like the biggest depiction of who a person is. So just seeing this is really hard. I'm so scared of making the wrong decision. Okay. I think this is so hard. Who are you gonna pick, Jenna? Okay, I think I'm going to eliminate number two. Oh, bummer. Oh. Number two, can you please come out? No. 
gosh. So sorry. Hi. Hi. Nice, nice to meet you. you. What's your name? Rohan. Rohan, it's nice, nice to meet nice you. Here. Thanks sorry, for being Rohan. here. This is brutal. Okay. All right, any first opinions? I'm glad that I get to see the shirt because it ties the whole outfit together. I think maybe we should do two questions this round, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, Jensen! Is this too much to ask? I don't think so. All right, guys. How many girls have you kissed? Ugh. And how many do you regret kissing? Well, considering my first kiss was at the Interskate 91 roller rink in fifth grade, I don't know how many girls I've kissed since then. I don't know if I regret anything. I feel like living a life fueled by resentment can set you up for failure. I think each girl that I've met, I mean, if there was a connection there, like rather than put a quantity to it, I think it's more for me about the quality, right? Like I'm not gonna just go up to someone and make out with them like I did when I was rollerblading at 12 years old, unless I, fi I find a really strong connection with them. You know, I don't wanna give pieces of myself away because it's really came back and hurt me before. That was really yeah. detailed. That was very that was insightful. That was good. My mom just feel... gave me like the eye across the thing. She's like, oh yeah, it's probably some of those things that he said were probably applicable to me, so. Well, again, I share kind of the same sentiment, whereas my first kiss was like in middle school, so I'm not too sure about how many women I've kissed, but something I tend to be a little more conservative with. I don't like to say that I have regrets when it comes to being in a relationship as it's more of a learning experience. I'll actually give you like a rough estimate, unlike the first two. Um, it's it's <laughs> under a dozen. And... Under a dozen, okay. That could be so many though. That no. Could, that could be like literally one. No, it's it's <laughs> a, like, I would say, I would, I'll give you a range from like eight to like 10. Okay, and, it's not bad. And okay. I'm in the same boat as the, the other two in terms of I don't really like giving that part of myself up too easily. And I really don't regret any of them just because I think having an emotional connection with the person is important for me. Now, this is going to test your comedic skills, how funny you are. What is your best pickup line? I like to keep it simple, so be like, hey, I'm James, what's your name? And that's it. All right. I don't know if that's classified as a pickup line. I mean, but... that's how that's that's how I pick up. My uh, pickup line, I guess, would be: uh, Is your mom's name practice? Because practice makes perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. All right. I don't know if we're in chemistry class right now, but you're looking like a stoichiometric equation, and I'd be the one to balance you out. <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, you know what? Ellie, come here. Oh, my oh. she's calling you now? up. You've been a really good friend to me over the years. But I think that you should always trust your friends and family's opinion. I want you to make this round oh of elimination God. because oh my God, I. You're having me do this? This is so awful. I, okay, I think I have my answer. My. Um, like. My analysis is telling me to eliminate number three. I'm so sorry. If number three could please make your way. Hello, hi. Oh my gosh, my mic pack. Oh, All right, Jenna, we are down to the final two contestants. Okay. You wanna ask any more questions yourself? You are totally welcome to. All right, I got a very important question. Pineapple on pizza. Man, that's a crazy question. Honestly, I love fruit. I'm a fruity guy. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, honestly, pineapple on pizza hits you with the Will Smith the way it slaps you. Honestly, it's pretty good. Pineapple on pizza, I feel like, only really works if you have ham on pizza, too. You gotta go full Hawaiian. Okay. Jenna, do you like pineapple on pizza? I do. Right answer. Jensen, I have a quick question for you. For me? Yeah. What? You told me before I walked into this room, one of them I kind of knew already. Is that one of these two? Possibly. I can't give you a, you a for sure me. yes or no, but I, uh, uh, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. Okay, what would you do if we're out and a guy starts flirting with me? My reaction, I would just be like, hey, dude, you know, she's with someone, but honestly, it tend, it doesn't really matter to me as long as it's nothing aggressive or like nothing I need to really step in with. I feel like if we just ignore that person, it doesn't matter. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. I feel like if, if I'm out with someone in public, I would be confident enough in our connection to sort of let that just 
bounce off. I think when you succumb to the energy of the people around you, you become even worse off than the people that were providing that. You know, personally, if someone was flirting with my girlfriend, I'd probably punch them. Violence is not the answer. Hey, that's why I take boxing, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> is this where I have to decide, Jensen? Yeah, I think, so. I think it's getting to that moment where you have to decide which guy you want to eliminate and which guy oh. you want to keep. This is, this is intense. <laughs> okay, I think I didn't really know walking into this what was going to happen, especially because conversations with people that you don't know, I mean, they're technically strangers, can always be interesting, but I think everybody came in really open-minded. This is making me very nervous. I I don't know, I, I think eyes are the window to the soul, and it's weird for me to like not make eye contact with the person. Go with your gut. Okay. Who are you eliminating, John? I am going to eliminate number two. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh! I feel oh, so bad! So Wait, what's your name? Jeremiah. Jeremiah, it's nice to meet you. Yeah, thank Thanks you so much for being here. He's so polite. Oh, I can't. Why am I nervous? <laughs> Ellie, come here! I know, we're all, I'm all nervous. Are we ready to reveal the man behind the curtain? Let's do it! All right. ah! Oh, oh my god, you're so beautiful. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, she smells really good. That's a really good sign. Wait, okay, what's your name? Aiden. Aiden, it's Aww. nice to meet you. Sure. Oh my gosh, thank you. I'm an overall girl, so when I saw the overalls, I was like, that's that's a move. You know, I actually didn't so wear these cute. overalls. I almost didn't, really? and then I changed before I left, so I was like, I feel like Jenna about these. Oh my gosh. Wait, so Jensen, what, what happens here? I don't know. You guys can, I don't know, get his number. Oh my gosh. I don't know, but this is it. I'm, I'm like in shock right now. Is this who you thought I would pick? Uh, maybe I don't know. Well, you have to say no. Yeah, probably. <laughs> oh Sorry. my gosh. All right, guys. I think Jenna found her one true love today. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and turn on yeah. those post notifications. Go follow everyone's socials. We'll see you in the next one. We'll see you in the next one. We'll I hope you enjoyed one. this video. <laughs> I did. I did. Bye, guys. <laughs>